Maybe I'm just not the target audience anymore. Maybe my degenerate level is not high enough to appreciate the art behind this piece of media, but why the hell does 90% of anime have to do that bullshit? I was watching Hell's Paradise, as you saw in like the last of the three scenes, and when she just had to put her put her titties all in my face, and I'm like, bruh, can, can we just have like a good uh, a good show without the suggestive themes, right? I was I was really digging, I mean, I still like it, but I'm digging Hell's Paradise, but when they start throwing titties at me and shit, it's, it's not because your boy is gay, it's because I'm like, I, I came here for a good show. Y'all ever heard of High School of the Dead? That show is extremely suggestive, and the only reason why I like it so much is because the plot is really good. But my god, there is no shortage of tittage in my face for the entire duration of that show. That is one of the biggest cliches of anime that I can't stand, right next to the creepy kid in the back of the classroom who's always staring out the window with their hands on their chin like this. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. They're always, from the teacher's perspective, they're always on the far right, second to last desk, staring out the window. That's one of the... Oh, also the childhood friend cliche. Fuck that cliche. But when I see the, the excessive boobage, the dude staring out the window, and the childhood friends who turn into lovers, I cringe. I, I, I cringe to death. Like, I can feel my whole body start to seize up. It's just annoying to me. I kind of wished that most anime didn't fall on this crutch, but they know exactly who watches this bullshit. And I've been one of those motherfuckers who used to love that garbage. I'm like... <laughs> Oh, oh my god, whoa, whoa, her boobs came out, whoa. <laughs> and, but that's just not for your boy, but I just, I just had to rant about this real quick because I just see it too often, and that's why I don't watch as many shows as I used to, because there's this crutch. I was watching this show called um, Jobless Reincarnation that a client of mine suggested, right? And in the beginning, it was cool. It's about a dude who was like a loser, basically. And then he got hit by a car and then reincarnated into a different world. Classic isekai bullshit, right? But then he like, was like being like highly perverted. He had a magic teacher who was like touching herself to her, listening to her, his parents, like, like, like smacking in the bedroom. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, why is this? Why, why does every show got to... I didn't finish Jobless because that put me off way hard and I heard that Jobless is cool, but just, bruh, that's just like, that's that's a damn shame. I actually want to watch a decent show. See, Chainsaw Man don't be doing that, actually they kind of do, but it's actually not that bad. Most of the time it's uh, subverted with actual cool scenes, you know what I mean? But most anime just do that. If I see a cutesy girl in the thumbnail, I'm out. Like, like, like Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. Uh, I see that you have a good anime here, but I see a cutesy anime girl. And with that being said, I'm out. Alright, but I just wanted to rant about that. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.